Right, today we are going to tie a super clouser. Uh, this would be for your ling cod or really, really big fish. I mean, not uh, not exclusive only to ling cod. Tie it with saltwater yak hair. It, um, for these longer flies, it just uh, it gives you the extra body and length so it doesn't wrap around your hook. Starting off, I have a four out circle hook, extra large dumbbell eyes, and I'm tying it with Kevlar. I want this to be completely bulletproof. So, uh, you know, and it's just basically a clouser, but, you know, just to kind of give you an idea as to how big a bug we're making. All right, so secure it in the front. You can secure it in the front or the back. It's up to you. Um, secure it in the back. Wrap all the way down. Trying not to wrap the front of your hair all over. So tell us more about the Oregon Coast ling cod fishery so, with this with this fly. Exactly. So the reason I tie it on a circle hook is it helps keep you out of the rocks. You're never going to be able to pull it away from a ling cod. And so the deal is as that ling comes down or actually up and follows up a rockfish, you'll throw this bug out and he'll eat it, come up, eat it, turn. You've got him every time. Just You don't even have to set the hook. You'll see him come up, following up one of your blacks or, or a green leg. And that's actually what we're trying to imitate is a green leg. And come up, eat it, immediately turn, and uh, destroy all your gear. It'll be wonderful. But, you know, a great book to check out. There is a musky, fly fishing for musky book. And I should actually get it, and, and it has a lot of really good clouser patterns that are like these super, super clousers. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so here we've got a front and a back end. Being that you're tying a really big bug with Kevlar, you don't want to cut this because you don't want it to pull out. So what you're going to do is flip. Put your hair back. It's just going to add some body to your bug and it's not going to be able to pull because this stuff yak especially tied with Kevlar has a tendency to pull out so you got to be really really careful here and you'll just kind of secure it down here I'm going to wrap back to the eyes it's not going to be the prettiest finishing but it'll be good Flashaboo there is not a clouser out there that is not complete without at least a little bit of flash. I picked the the deep copper because again we're trying to imitate a green ling, which is a ling cod's favorite food. And these flies are just dynamite. I mean, we absolutely crush fish on these flies. I mean, you'd be surprised. You know, there are fish the size of this fly that'll come up and eat it. So you're gonna need to check it out. Again, keeping with the fold over technique. It's just really the Kevlar, like I said, it kind of, while it's bulletproof, it's hard to really cinch down. See, it wants to move on you. So be sure to fold in your materials instead of cutting them. Or you'll just, you know, you'll make this big monstrosity and it'll pull out on you. So. Finish it off a little bit. All right, kind of fold up. So now we got we have a pretty good bug going. He is uh, as far as length goes. I mean, you're talking right around that 10 inch to a foot long. Top him off, and this is actually his the top, right? Because this fly is obviously going to ride like this. Darker colors on top, lighter colors on bottom. Pretty basic stuff. And then we'll just kind of tie in the wing here. I should actually do it to that side so you can see. It'd be nice. Punch it all up, fold it over. We've got a real big nasty bug in our hands. This is exactly 
what you want. Just a big ugly. We'll build up this nose a little bit just to kind of finish her off. That's okay. This Kevlar stuff, really interesting stuff to work with. If you've never worked with it before, the real trick is to glue the daylights out of it. And it's okay to have a big nose. I mean, you're talking, you've got a four-out circle on here. So, you know, we'll come back in and glue her down and be all set. Right? When you're putting the glue on this guy, and we'll clean him up a little bit. We'll pull him out of the vise. You know, if you've got some stray hairs, feel free to cut them. You don't really cut natural hair too much, but in this case, I mean, it's, it's just ridiculously huge. That nose did not come out real well, but just kind of throw in some some epoxy or not some epoxy. I like hardisol or epoxy or liquid fusion. Um, just kind of let it and be generous with it because you might as well. And just kind of coat coat your bug. You're you're painting nails at this point. We go through quite a few of these every trip. Throw on some half edges on top of the glue near the eyes. Help you finish it. Give her a snip. Go back, glue her down. Don't worry about the fine details. It's not gonna matter. And that monster is just gonna just eat it for breakfast. Thank you very much.